I am back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you a video using Mary Kay products. A lot of you know I've done a couple videos of Mary Kay products and I absolutely love them. There's lots of people who represent Mary Kay so um, if any of you represent Mary Kay then let me know down below. Go ahead and uh, put your information so that people can order from you. So I have two palettes I'm going to show you that are limited edition. Now unfortunately I was very silly and ugh, I accidentally broke mine but this one is actually interchangeable. So it's this palette right here which uh, has these matte and it's a semi matte palette so it's like jewel tone it's very pretty emerald green uh, just really gorgeous colors just a really nice brown to help transition now the palette that I did end up using is this one right here I just I used a little bit of both actually just one color from there and here I just didn't switch a palette out and I use this beautiful blue color as you can see these are all limited edition colors as well as a really nice blush their blushes last really long and they're super buildable this one is strawberry cream as well as their gel liner is really great too it is um, easy to glide on and you'll see within my tutorial but I just wanted to show these products as well in my tutorial I actually forgot to set my face so they have a Mary Kay setting spray now which is by Scandinavia so you all know it's really good so I'm gonna start stop jabbering and uh, go ahead and check Mary Kay down below they have all these cool limited edition products all these jewel tones uh, I just wanted something really nice and kind of bold but still wearable yeah so let's get on with the tutorial and also there's going to be a sneak peek of my makeup collection a lot of you've been asking about it so the sneak peek will be at the end I'm going to start off by this really beautiful blue shade. Really? And that, my friends, is how I broke the first quad. I'm going to start by placing this really beautiful blue shade right here all over my lid. I'm not going to use any type of brow highlight because I already did my brows and I'm just using my concealer as my highlight. So I'm going to stick that blue shade all over my eye and just pack this on. A lot of you have inspired me to be working with color, so thank you for that. And of course, on the other eye as well. The brushes that I am using are Mary Kay. Now with this quad right here, I'm going to take this tan shade and I'm going to use that right in my crease to help blend out that blue. Thank goodness a little goes a long way with these shadows or else I would have no transition color. I just wanted just to stick to the one brand. So I kind of went a little on the lid, but that's okay because I can always pack on the blue again. Now to spice up my life, I'm going to take this pink iridescent color right here. I'm going to put it inside my crease. Well, well, not inside my crease. I'm not performing a surgery. But I'm going to blend it within my crease to kind of give it some sparkle, some life, some unicorn goodness. Take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that within the crease and see how this works out. A lot of you enjoy the purple look I did the last time and you're like, what's wrong with you? You should work more with color. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I know I need to. And these shadows blend super easily and as you can see, I have like zero fallout. Hallelujah. Now just take that blue and pack it on once again. Now one where I like to spotlight the eye, so I'm gonna take this lighter blue shade right here and I'm gonna just take my ring finger and I'm gonna have that right on my finger and I'm gonna dab that right in the center of the eye and it's gonna give it that sparkle as you can see and just put it right in the center. And it's just gonna help give that extra dimension. As you can see, it gives me that extra little twinkle in my eye. It gives just more dimension in the eye instead of it being just one flat color. It's kind of popping out my eye even more. Now I'm going to line my eye with this Mary Kay gel black liner with this angled brush also from Mary Kay. And I'm going to do a very thin line. And I don't want to make it too thick so I don't ruin uh, the spotlight that I did do on the eye and really cover up the color of my eye. So let's see how this eyeliner works. Oh, it's creamy. <laughs> I'm just gonna line the top of my eye. I'm not going to do a wing because I usually do a wing anyhow, but as you can see the difference between the liner and not, it kind of defines my eye a little bit more, but as you can see it takes a little bit away from the color, so I'm gonna just keep the line very small on top. Uh, now I'm gonna take a little bit of this gel and just stick it in my waterline a little, just so I can define the bottom lash line. I'm going to apply some mascara on my top lash. I'm using the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. I also, this is a non-waterproof mascara, but a waterproof one that I do love from them is called the Lash Love. And I have a whole video on it because it's a really great mascara. Now I'm just using my Garnier BB Cream. I love this just to finish my face because then I like to finish the bottom portion of my eye after that. I'll list all the products down below what I use on my face. But I'm going to add in this strawberry cream blush and it's just like this really nice 
pinky color just to bring out that pink in my eye using the blush brush and just placing that on my cheeks just to give a really nice soft blush then we can move on to the bottom of the eyes also i'm just going to go on with the lipstick because i have it in my hand this is the mary Kay semi matte lipstick and this is in the color pink moonstone and i like this lipstick because it's really nice and nude and the concentration is going to be more on the eyes a pencil brush and take that same blue i put on my lid and i'm going to line my lower lash line with it just to give more definition and really have that color pop and i'm bringing it all the way into the inner tear duct of the eye and all the way to the outside just to be more dramatic because I'm all about that drama, baby. This bottom portion definitely makes it look more sultry and puts it pulls it all together. And of course, add your mascara on your bottom lashes. I just added some clear gloss on top of the lipstick, but now I added some lashes because I feel like this eye look really needs some lashes because my lashes are not the best. I feel like the look looks better with the lashes than as opposed to not. I know you agree. I feel like they did a really nice final touch. And also, this is just a new pop of color for me. I like the blue. It really is super sultry, really nice and smoky. Comment down below what color you would like me to do next. Uh, I really like stepping out of the box and doing more wearable looks. I haven't done any too crazy colorful looks. I want to do colorful looks that are more wearable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, now, uh, onto the sneak peek of my makeup collection. I'm going to link everything down below for Mary Kay and definitely check them out so i hope you guys enjoy this video and now on to my sneak peek of my makeup collection slash mess whoop, whoop. okay guys so i'm just gonna do a sneak peek of my makeup collection i'm seriously holding this on my little mini tripod i have a mess right here I obviously changed my vanity um yeah disregard what i'm wearing i don't know what i'm wearing also this is my two uh nine drawer alex and then i have this for my key as well i'm like organizing all this this is just a sneak peek, but I have the two drawers. I'm going to have a full video, but I have my primers here, my foundations here, concealers there, powders there, highlighters, palettes. And then here's where I'm starting to organize my lipstick drawer. But this next drawer is actually going to end up a lipstick. That's a lip gloss. That's really bad. And then this is just like skincare stuff. You don't want to look at that. And then over here, I'll show you over here. It's like single eyeshadows. And I figure out how to organize those. If anybody has any tips on what I can use to organize these, uh, let me know. <laughs> and then single eyeshadows again. Uh, pencils, liners, and all that good stuff blushes galore um, blush palettes and all my bronzers I currently use and makeup on there and more palettes these are like BH palettes and palettes I haven't been using too much um, this is a drawer full of stuff I have not yet used that's embarrassing hair extensions and random breast cleaners and stuff so here's my overview so far uh, an updated makeup collection will come soon don't worry it's coming soon and here's my sneak peek and Thumbs up for a future, more thorough makeup collection. Love you guys. Whoop, whoop.